Hello, 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 Freedom Fighters. Today, it looks like we got a new update regarding the Zooks and the heavy unit of the bugs. Uh, some fixes and adjustments were also said, but today we're only focusing on the weapon adjustments. And if you want to know more about the update in depth, I will share the official Helldivers Discord down below so you can check that out. Uh, and with that said, let's check out these changes. Okay, so to summarize the update, they reduced the risk of the heavy or elite mobs to spawn uncontrollably, so that's something to consider. Um, what they what they also said is that they're just adjusting the spawn rate of these units, but not the difficulty. So, with less titans and chargers around, we might run into more of those uh, pesky hunters jumping around. So, do keep an eye out for that. In this patch, they nerfed the chargers, singling them out, saying that they reduced the health of the chargers' head, so that is another way to kill them. Uh, they didn't change anything with the legs though, so you can still do uh, what we used to do, to destroy the legs and then shoot it. Uh, and on a side note, I would, like this, uh, I would like to mention this out, that I recently made a video about how they get weak after a charge and what, we, what you could do to kill them. Um, it seems like that it's unchanged uh, as of the moment. People say they're going to patch it, but we don't have a date yet on when they're going to patch this. So as of now, you can still use it. And as you can see in this video or in this clip that I am just killing this charger using a slugger shotgun. So you can consider that as your option too. So with that being said, today let's see what these bad boys can do. Uh, specifically, the expendable anti-tank and the recoilless rifle. Uh, just to let you know, I am not here to compare which is better. They're both good, but obviously they have their own advantages and disadvantages. So don't at me on which is better or which is which. Uh, we are just here to see and confirm if it is now re rewarding as they say it is. Well, after a few missions with this, uh, the recoilless and expendable anti-tank, right now they're just so much better. Uh, they were viable before, but now they are just so much better. The payoff is just too good, even though with the trade-offs, like with the recoilless, you have to sacrifice your backpack slot. The anti-tank, you have to call it every now and then. Uh, the payoff is just as good as the trade-off. Now with the chargers, um, with them moving around a lot, it might be a bother, but you know, that's where, you know, skill comes in. You get you need to get you need to get a good angle or position yourself uh, and then I think you're gonna be fine it's not even like you know too high of a skill if you ask me but that's just you know at least you have to some to have some sort of mechanic and not just be you know brain dead killing everything with the Titans uh, you have to shoot them twice in the face uh, I used both expendable and the um, recoilless they both have the same results um, if you miss and just hit the general area, uh, you actually have to shoot them like another sh shot or two. But if you hit them fine with the, you know, if you actually shove it in their throats, the two, the first two rockets that you shove in their throat, they just die. So basically, just hit your shots. That's it. Get good. So yeah, that's it, guys. I uh, don't want to hold your hold you long. I just wanted to show you guys that it's viable. It is strong enough to do these things. Um, with these changes, you can possibly embed this into your builds if you're build crafting, especially against bugs. Um, yeah, so what do you think would be a viable build of these two getting buffed? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, go and spread freedom, Helldivers.